was. You know, you would understand the uh, urge by the opposition really to get to the bottom of um, this uh, helicopter crash. That team has already been formed to, uh, to investigate a crash. And of course, we're hoping uh, they will be able to expeditiously deal with uh, um, and uh, tell the country what really caused uh, the accident that killed General uh, Francis Ogola as he was on a tour of duty of uh, uh, counties that have been previously gazetted by uh, the Ministry of Interior as disturbed counties owing to increasing cases of banditry. And where the general was, really, um, he was inspecting ongoing works of reconstruction of schools uh, that were damaged by bandits in their killing spree and in their damaging spree as they engage in the business of death. And this is where the general was to check on the reconstruction. And you, uh, it's a conversation they had had with the president, and he had told the president that he was going to go and inst uh, inspect uh, those works personally, the construction works that are ongoing. The engineering uh, department of the Kenya Defense Forces is behind uh, those works, is executing those works. And just like has been testified even by members of the Kenya Defense Forces, the general wanted to be in touch with his men. He always wanted to be on the ground. He always wanted to listen to them. He always wanted to check how the work is, in, uh, is ongoing. And that is the hallmark of a commander who is in touch uh, with um, his work uh, and is in touch with his men. And this, again, was revealed in the conversation we had with him the other day um, in the month of August last year uh, when he said the welfare of his men and their family and their families uh, tops their agenda or tops his agenda um, as he leads. Relatively, uh, he would have been the CDF longer, um, but tragically, uh, the general has left us. And now again, it falls within the hands of the Commander-in-Chief to pick another man yet from the uh, Kenya Defense Forces to become a CDF. And I see Kalonzo Musioka, the uh, WIPA leader, uh, is among uh, the people who will be allowed to pay their last respects at the gravesite. And there comes uh, Kalonzo Musioka, the Waipa Party leader, and the former vice president of the Republic of Kenya. Uh, we shall also see how many other leaders from the opposition will be allowed into the homestead. Uh, but as you can see, the convoy carrying uh, the general uh, is still on the road headed towards the village. And moving slowly in good speed to honor the general. One last up, and this will be it. General Francis Omondi Ogola, born 61 years ago, joins the military in April of 1984. And April is a quite an interesting month that we, you would say is um, a quite an eventful, eventful month uh, for the general because he joined the military in April. He was promoted to the position of the Chief of Defense Forces in the month of April, 28th of April to be specific. And he dies in the month of April, but this year in 2024. And that is how April is an eventful month for the Chief of Defense Forces, the late um, uh, Francis Omondi Ogola. In the vicinity, there is no other four-star general other than uh, Francis uh, Omondi Ogola. If there is any which, who, who, who might include um, retired General uh, Robert Kariuki Kibochi, as well as um, uh, Mwadeve, uh, as well as uh, Julius Waweru Karangi, uh, probably even Kianga, because we saw retired General Kianga yesterday at the Ulinzi grounds. All of them are retired. The only person who bears the title of a four-star general within that vicinity is General Francis Omondi Ogola. The other person bearing the title of general there is the five-star general who is the commander-in-chief, and that is President Dr. William Samoy Ruto. So in that vicinity, there is no other four-star general. It is only uh, Francis Omondi Ogola. And he sees this becoming a four-star general when he's interred. Generals don't die, they just fade away. And his sword, um, the ceremonial sword he used to carry, his heart, 
signifying his seniority, um, as well as the robe around his waist, will be handed to the family alongside the Kenyan flag and probably even uh, the Kenya Defense Forces flag will be handed over to the family as souvenirs for the remembrance of the works and the tour of duty of General Francis Omondi Ogola, who spent 40 years of his life 